Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure the Big Tap service appliance to do packet slicing and payload removal. The first step in the configuration is to physically connect the Big Tap service appliance to your Big Tap monitoring fabric. The Big Tap SDN controller will automatically detect the service appliance and connect to it. You only need to use one interface from the service appliance in order to send and receive traffic. You can use more interfaces if you need more bandwidth. The Big Tap service appliance will be managed and configured from the SDN controller. So to start the demo, let me log into the Big Tap SDN controller and start the configuration. To configure the service appliance, you only need three commands. First command, Big Tap Manage Service. This command will create the profile name for the packet slicing service. I will give it a profile name. Second command is service action. This command will set the action mode for the Big Tap service appliance. You have three action options, packet slicing, packet deduplication, and flexible packet matching. The Big Tap service appliance can do any of these three actions. Here I'm going to choose the slice action for this demo. Then I will choose the L4 payload start. This option means that when I send a packet to the tool, the Big Tap service appliance will intercept this packet and will remove the packet payload that comes after the TCP or the UDP header. This scenario is useful in many use cases. Let's say you are a network admin and you are troubleshooting traffic that has email content that belongs to other employees in your organization. The policy set by the organization prohibits you from reading email content that belongs to other users. So you need to remove the payload of the incoming packets while in the same time maintain the vital relevant portions of each packet. You do that by applying payload removal using the option that I just chose here, L4 payload start. And then you specify the offset of where you want to start. Third step is to identify the interface that you want to use. Your appliance may have several interfaces connected to your monitoring fabric. So this step identifies the interface that will be used to do the packet slicing from the Big Tap service appliance. I will choose the switch name and the interface name. So this is the configuration I use to enable the service appliance. The next step is to attach the service I created to a Big Tap policy. The Big Tap policy is where you identify the fabric input and output ports. Also it's where you define the traffic matching conditions. I have a policy that's already configured and I will just add the service I created to the existing policy. To verify that everything is working, I'm going to download some traffic from the internet and open a tool such as Wireshark and then look at the packet size captured by Wireshark to verify that each packet got stripped and the payload was removed. This is the host I have in my production network. I will download a Ubuntu image from a Ubuntu website and then I will go to Wireshark to look at the traffic. Here is my Wireshark GUI that represents one of the tools that's connected to my big switch monitoring fabric. Here you can see the packet size after it got stripped by the big tab service appliance. You only see the packet headers but you don't see the payload anymore. With Big Tap packet slicing, you can reduce the packet size to increase processing and monitoring throughput. You can process fewer bits while maintaining the vital relevant portions of each packet. You can significantly increase the capacity of forensic recording tools, such as Wireshark. That's all for the demo. Thank you for watching.